Hi folks, welcome back. Right, okay, the link in blue up there will be in the description, uh, as usual. This is another story by Nicola Finlay. Now, Nicola Finlay um, authored the last story involving um, this guy, this pedophile here, um, Mark Williamson. Now, he was in uh, Hamilton Sheriff Court, and he was under um, the sheriff. The sheriff in this case, on his case was um, Sheriff Tommy Miller, Thomas Miller, and he gave him a very lenient service, uh, ser um, sentence. He gave him two years uh, suspended and two years uh, on his sex offenders. So here we are again now, we have another pedophile coming up. Now this one's even worse. The last guy uh, had stuff on his computer, which is bad enough, but this degenerate, he arranged to meet a 12 year old girl for sex. Now, the headline is East Kilbride pedophile who want, went to meet a 12 year old girl for sex walks free from court. That's strange. Why, how's that? Christopher Kelly was duped by a concerned parents group posing as teenage girls and was snared at Hamilton Water Palace. So, you know, you do get the, the, the newspapers and um, police. Uh, like to tar these people with uh, names like vigilantes. They're no vigilantes. What it is is, if the police or society lose control of a situation, then we take control of that situation to protect our children and our communities. They they take term that vigilante. They just kind of control it. So we have to control it, and we will continue to control it. So for any coppers listening to this, any high up judges, sheriffs, we will continue to um, monitor these people and, and uh, publicise what you're doing about it or no doing about it and um, what they're doing. So good on you. A pedophile who wanted to meet an underage girl for sex at a swimming pool has avoided jail. Christopher Kelly thought he was messaging a 12 year old uh, uh, by sending her lewd images and inappropriate texts. But he was snared um, and duped by the concerned parent group uh, who were posing online in, in children's chat rooms as teenage girls. So they're only in ch children's chat rooms. They're not just searching the internet. They're, they sit in child chat rooms and they maybe have a name up in their, their age and these people make the first approach. Pedophile Kelly had attempted to arrange to meet one of the girls at Hamilton Water Palace only to be snared by the, the concerned um, pedophile hunter group called Protecting All Little Souls. Now you kind of call them vigilantes, Protecting All Little Souls, you know. Um, yet despite his efforts to steal the innocence of supposed minors, Sheriff Thomas Miller, see, the same sheriff, the same sheriff, Sheriff Miller, um, punished Kelly with a community based sentence. He said, he, he, the, judge, the, the sheriff basically said that um, Kelly did not have an unusual interest in adolescent children. Well, it, it was pre-teen pre children, uh, sheriff, what are you talking about? And said that because of his own mental limitations, so because he's a bit of a, a doolally, he's, he's allowed to get away with um, trying to groom children for sex. That's not the way it works, Sheriff. So what's the problem with Sheriff Tommy Tommy Miller? Is it Miller? Aye. He seems to be lenient, showing a lot of leniency with regard to um, child sex cases. So maybe we should focus in on that Sheriff. Why is his court showing leniency to child predators? In East Kilbride? Does he know them? Does, is there some other reason in here? So I think what we should be doing from now on, so that, that degenerate there, go off, right? Now, he, that man, Miller, should not be handling any more um, sex cases. None whatsoever. Let him do parking fines, um, tax, road tax, insurance, stuff like that. He should not be allowed any near any more... Um, child sex trials because he thinks it's okay it's not a big deal to him 
All right. Now he showed that guy leniency. If civic society breaks down, he would not be shown any leniency. He would be chopped up. Right. And that's what would happen. But yet this guy here, this sheriff, Thomas Miller, says it's okay. He basically says, ah, you were really just talking to somebody who's about your own, your own level in terms of intelligence. It's okay for you to send pictures of your dick um, to this wee lassie at 12. Don't worry about it. Because I think the sheriff doesn't agree with these groups. And what he's doing is he's hitting back. Right? On the last one, he basically said to the guy, well, it doesn't look like you were sexually... Uh, he's got pictures of kids, having, people having sex with kids. It doesn't look as though you were doing it for sexual gratification. It's just all garbage. So... What's going on here? All right, people need to look at Sheriff Thomas Miller. The police need to look at Sheriff Thomas Miller. You know, we're not making this up, are we? The Procurator Fiscal, the Crown needs to look at Thomas Miller. What is his agenda? Don't tell me the jails are getting filled. Bulb or jails. Anyway. It is what it is, folks, so if you like the content, hit the like button. Peace out.